This is a skill you're going to use your whole life. Even I have to work in groups with teachers, and I have to be a respectful listener, even when I may agree or disagree. So the last thing we're going to do today is I have some questions up here that I'd like you to take a moment and respond to by yourself. So at the top of your paper, you'll put your name. Number one, did you find the sentence stems helpful? Why or why not? They were these. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Explain why. Number two, why is it important to be a good listener in a group of people? Why do you think? And then number three, how is being able to respectfully communicate with others helpful in the real world? It means outside of school, our everyday life. Okay? So take about, oh yeah, sure, thank you. Yeah. Take about five or ten minutes to do this independently. Turn it into me when you're done, and then we'll get ready for daily five today, okay? Very nice job. Okay, now look up here. Did you find the sentence stems helpful? Why or why not? Remember the list of paper, the paper I gave you that said, I agree because, or I respectfully disagree. Were those helpful to you today? No, they were not helpful because why? I didn't use them. Why? Because I don't, because I remember what you said. I agree. I respectfully disagree. Okay. <coughs> but so you did use them because you, 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 were, you were saying them. So they were a little bit helpful. I really or it really? It really did not go well, but the STEM strategy did. Oh good, how did they help you? They helped me because Share these. Is there anything you want to add to one of these? No. Okay. I think these are really good. I like number two. I want you to when I when I go over that one, I want you to share that with the class. Okay. That was really 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 good. And that's that. For sure, kidding. Leave it on your desk, and we're gonna go over it right now. And number three, how is being, this is a big one, how is being able to respectfully communicate with others helpful in the real world? Candace? Well, first, if you're not respectfully in the real world, you can get fired, and if you fired at school, you can get better. Yeah. If you're not respectful at your job, that's right, Candace, you could get fired at your job. I didn't think about that. Sammy? I have something to relate to your Candace's answer. Okay. Um, my answer is because at one point in life you will need to communicate with your boss at work. Yeah. Um, and another, the thing that I want to relate to your Candace's answer, um, this guy, he was at his job. Um, he, had, he, um, he worked at a car dealership and people used to ask him, can I find this car, but can I find this car somewhere else but at a cheaper price? And he would always tell the truth, like, such as yes or no. Um, and the boss got mad at him because he was telling uh, almost everybody yes because it was a really nice car. So the boss fired him oh. for telling the truth. Oh, that's not unfortunate. Eleanor? I said, you have to communicate nicely with your real word because you have to work yeah, in the real world, you have to work with people that you don't always want to work with. That's true. Yep, yep. I think you guys really understand the point of this. Is In the real world, you have to work with groups of people. So we have to learn how to be better communicators and listeners. So excellent job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Miss Miller is going to go ahead and collect these papers. Make sure your name is on the front of it. And um, once your paper is collected, 
Come join me so we can check in for daily five. We're going to do one round today. Good job. I'm glad it was fun. Thank you.